about being a Sick Kids Ambassador. What does that mean? What do you do? Well, being a Sick Kids Ambassador means that I can do stuff or tell my story to raise money for the hospital. And how has today been special for you? It's been special for me because um, because I get to high five everybody in my school and run. They're all chanting my name and it's to raise money for the hospital, so that's a day of special. Sam, I have a question for you. You are Hugh's cheerleading squad and his most ardent supporter. Can you tell us about some of the special things that you've done to help Hugh in his journey? I um, gave him his blanket because sometimes he's not allowed to sit up, so I help him get it. Um, I let him sleep in my room for a year because when you come home from the hospital, you're kind of scared. Um, so I let him sleep in my room for a year and stuff like that. Okay. Hugh, what's really special about your school um, that you want to get back here after you have to do your treatments? It's I don't I don't know. Were the kids in your class surprised to learn that you had cancer? Yes, they were very surprised. What did you tell them about cancer? That it sucks and wasn't it wasn't fun mm -hmm. to have. And what does the school do to help you so that you can learn? Because it's sometimes hard to get back here when you have cancer. Yeah. Uh, what does Mr. Moreau do to help you? gives me what I need to do my work in class and yeah. On a scale of one to ten, how great is Dunlace? Ten. Definitely. What makes Dunlace a ten? It makes me feel happy. I I don't know. Okay. You said you've been on. Really, that's <laughs> hard, isn't it? It's been a busy day. How about we want to ask Sammy a couple questions? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Sammy, what does Dunlace do to make you feel comfortable to come here after sick kids? The, um, my teacher is really nice about me and I get to talk to about it with my class and they have some family members too and my teacher's a really good teacher and she makes things special for me and I like the things I learn. Like. That's really good guys. It was hard, eh, Hugh? Mm-hmm. Do you want a hug? <laughs> All right, you did great. You were great. You're hungry, okay. Yeah, I am too, so. <laughs> and that's the end of that. <laughs> Can I ask? It is said that cancer affects the entire family. Tell us about how Team Hugh came together and became such a force to be reckoned with. It's true. It really does. It impacts the grandparents, the friends, our teachers, our principal, our whole community. And Team Hugh came together because we needed to do something to know that everything was out of control. Um, the thing we could do is help raise money for research to give us a bit of that control back. What message do you have for other families who are currently fighting this battle? That's a hard one. Um, lean on your community. Um, everyone's there to help and they just don't know what to do. Um, when somebody offers to make you dinner or cut your lawn, say yes. Um, and uh, hopefully they have a school as strong as ours that um, when we need to lean that they'll help prop you up.
You have two beautiful children who have a bond that transcends regular siblings by virtue of the fact that you've had this experience uh, affect your family, for better or worse. What word would you use to describe Hugh? A miracle. And what word would you use to describe Sam? My angel. You are. Okay, now I'm yeah, going to cry. I know, I know. <laughs>